Hello everyone, what's up? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my ultimate secret on how I depot my eyeshadows without shattering a single shade. Now before we go ahead and start, I just wanna let you guys know that this doesn't work with any plastic packaging. It only works if your palette is made out of cardboard. Yeah, I will be depotting my Bibella and my Juvia's Place palette. I love these palettes so much and I am pretty confident that none of these eyeshadows will crack. That's the reason why I'm going to depot them. Now enough of the chit chat, let's go ahead and get started. So first what you wanna do is to sanitize your hands. I have my handy dandy alcohol spray right here and if you can hear the electric fan, I do apologize, it's just been crazy hot and it's actually so difficult to film but uh, I just can't help it, I wanted to film. I have a spatula right here. What you're going to do is that you're going to take a look into the side of your cardboard palette and you will notice that there is actually like a platform separating it from this thick cardboard right here. Now it really depends on what type of eyeshadow palette I wanted to depot. This is not like a limited edition or anything like that, so one of the reasons why I want to depot it and the quality of shadows are amazing. So you will see on the side, there's like a separation, right? What you're going to do is that you're going to get like a spatula and you are going to start to poke right here in the middle of the shadows, okay? In the middle of the shadows. Let me do it here, like flatly. Okay, I have my spatula right here. You guys see the separation here, right? From this actual cardboard to like the platform here. So what you're gonna do is that you should have something like this at least to make this um, thing more effective to avoid like broken shadow. What you're gonna do is that you are going to poke starting from one side slowly and it has to be in between the shadows, you know what I mean? So you're going to hold it firmly. Don't force it, just, you know, try to have a feel of it. There we go. As you guys can see, the whole head is there. And just try to like twist your spatula like that. But again, try to, you know, be very gentle with it. Don't be like so aggressive, okay? I know it's so exciting to take out all of the shades from the pan, but um, again, I am poking in the middle of the shadow. So as long as you're following these steps, then your shadow won't die. It's starting to lift nice and slow. You guys could hear John Ray in the background enjoying himself. And then in the middle, then in the middle. And then on the last corner, in the middle of each shade. Now, you will notice that everything is going to start lifting effortlessly if you have a cutter that would be perfect as well. Now I think the most difficult part here is the matte shadows because they don't have that flexible texture in them. So they are the ones that are very fragile. Just go all the way around. Try not to rush, lifting it up. Just have a feel of it. Okay, perfect. Now this is what we're looking for. We're trying to go for. Boom, bitch, get out the way, get out. Okay, you're going to have something like this. Now you will notice at the back, it is, I don't know how to explain it, but what you're gonna do is that you're just going to peel it from the back like that and you're going to expose something. You will notice that this has like a two ply cardboard. Now it's easier. Don't try not to, if you have long nails, try, I know like you're going to get tempted to use your nails, but don't. You're going to end up breaking a freaking nail. Just use your spatula to take that out. 
just why am I yelling? Am I yelling, guys? Because I'm afraid that you might not hear me because of the fan. So again, I do apologize. This is the only room in the house that doesn't have any air conditioning. Like, what the heck? So I actually forced John Ray to like switch rooms, like the master's bedroom to my makeup room. And of course he said no. <laughs> so I'm going to be continuing on doing this until I successfully expose each side. So you can see that there's like two cardboard separations again, but we're going to go there later. I just want to finish this up. Don't be impatient. Don't be like me. Oops. Now you're probably saying like, why are you not saving the name of the shades? Now, how are you gonna, I can just look it up on the internet. I don't really make any tutorials anyway. You will notice that there's like, in every palette that I depot, there's always like a magnet here on the side. Take them out. Ooh, I can't even remove them together. What is this? These are strong magnets. Let me just put them on the side. Okay, make sure that every corner is open, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna make your life difficult later on. If you have a cutter, that would be perfect. I hope you guys can follow and I hope that I'm not too fast with this. Okay, perfect. Just take that out. Okay, now you can see that there are like layers of cardboard here. You guys see that? There are like layers. Now what you're gonna do is that you're going to take out the layer slowly start with the first layer again poking in the middle of every shadow if you can lift it up that would be perfect but just make sure that it's not hitting an eyeshadow because if it does hit an eyeshadow boom girl you're gone bye it's cracked then if you can peel it, then gently peel it off. Now try not to rush. Again, you know, just be patient with it. I have water here. Now you're probably gonna ask, like, Jess, what are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna give it to you because you're thirsty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, you probably already know the trick. I am going to pour a little bit of water Just do it gradually. If you have a dropper, that would be 10 times better. And don't you worry, if there's a little bit of water that went above the eyeshadow, just blow it. I'm pretty sure you know how to blow, girl. Okay. As you can see, the water is crawling. Oh, perfect, I just put it in a front. Just do it like that. Now, you probably get the idea of this one, right? Girl, that's all you're ever going to do. And of course, what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna wait. The question is, can you wait? You should wait. Because sometimes, I'm like, you know what? Me, every time I'm depotting something, I always get like too excited. So that's why back then I would always shatter half of the shadows because I don't I don't like waiting. I mean, who does like waiting? And that's the reason why I have my monster right here so that while waiting, I am listening to music and drinking that.
So making sure that the cardboard drinks water. Okay, you might think that this is messy, but it's really not. It's even messier when you use heat or fire or whatever element. So what you're gonna do is that you're just going to have to wait, play two of your favorite songs, and trust me, after that, it is going to be ready. Now I'm gonna play two songs, and I will be right back. Comment down below what is your favorite song at the moment, and I would love to hear it for sure. Okay guys, songs are done. Now it is time for the big moment. See how easy that is? Now at the bottom, you will be surprised on how easy they peel off. And if you, this is a matte shade, so I'll show you. If you feel like the glue is still very much intact with the pan, I would suggest you soak it a little bit more, play two more musics, and that will fix the problem. See how easy that is? So clean, so good. Moving on to another one. See how easy that peels off? And best part is that it just needs water. You're not gonna be spending anything on electricity and I bet you this doesn't even cost almost like nothing. Okay. This is just so satisfying, guys. I can peel it off like that. It would be wonderful, too. Just to get it out of the way, you know? You can just peel it super fast like that, bend the bottom, so if you're depotting without any water and just using the spatula, whatever works for you, but this one, I still do it even though I know there's like a possibility that I can take out the shadows with just like poking it using a spatula at the bottom but uh, I still prefer this one just to be like 100% sure that nothing is going to be broken because I really do love this palette. Now for example this one, it's tough so I'm not going to force it. I'm going to leave it alone, okay? Leave it alone and so good again. As for the other ones, I'm just gonna take it out. Bada beam, bada boom, bitch. Okay, that one is tough. It's my favorite shade in this palette. I'm not gonna mess this up. What I'm gonna do? Put water. Ah. Okay, go there, please. There you go. This one. Okay, this one is still tough. Okay, that one is still tough. That one, nope, nope, okay. I'm gonna leave it alone, give it a little rest, add more just to be sure. Because again, oh, okay. Now this is the part I'm gonna blow. You're probably like, Jess, that's so disgusting. It's mine, girl, okay, calm down. You blow a lot of things, girl. Okay, while waiting for that, I'm going to take everything like that. Now, if this is tough, don't force it as well. This is a matte shade, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put a little bit of water there. Actually, it would be like 10 times better if you have a base underneath to just really soak everything. I don't know if I make any sense, but I just 
choose to have it like this way, okay? We're gonna wait for another couple of minutes. I'll be back. Now that everything is done and clean, these two, by the way, is from my Jaclyn Hill palette. I just put them there to even everything out. So I'm just going to put them there one by one. I, you know, just decided to place the colors, whatever I'm happy with. So it's not as organized as the ones that you guys have seen in the palette originally, but I'm happy how it turned out. This is probably like the most satisfying part. Overall, it's just so stress relieving. So I'm actually deep hunting a lot of my eyeshadow palettes. So this is the finished product, guys. What do you guys think? The palette obviously came from MAC. It is only $8. The bottom is magnetic. However, I went ahead and purchased a magnetic strip at Walmart because you will be needing it because not all of the shadows or blushes or whatever is going to stick at the bottom. And that is all for today guys thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today let me know if you enjoyed this trick or if you like this video definitely leave a thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys in the comment box down below i'll see you in my next video bye